Hello lovely people, how are you all doing today? I hope you're well, I really do hope you're well. Um, I'm okay, <laughs> and at the moment, okay is good enough. Uh, right, so today, <laughs> being a bit of a mm, numpty, um, this is a garden video. Spot the deliberate mistake, I'm at home. So, by the time you're seeing this, you will have seen the other day, I got back to the garden. Hoorah, 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 hoorah. Um, a really emotional day, really lovely, happy, happy, happy. It's now about seven o'clock in the evening. I'm reaching forward. I've got a little glass of, little glass. It's actually a spritzer. It's half wine, half water. Mmm. Cheers. Oh, it's nice after a day in the garden. It was a bottle of wine that a friend has given me today for my birthday. Um, yes, so it was really, really, really just great to get back to the garden. It was it just the biggest hug, lovely. It's over three weeks since I did any gardening. Yeah, over three weeks. I've been once in the meantime for gosh, it was a few days ago, I went down there for about an hour. That was it, just sat outside the shed. It was a few days after my sister's death. I thought I need to get out of the flat, go and sit, and you'll have seen on Facebook because I posted the picture of the courgette. Oh my goodness. So today is my first sort of proper day. I'm easing myself back in. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to do some real work. But when I was making the video, so you've seen that bit of the video already, I actually realised, because there's the bit to come now, it was going to be really, really too long. Um, well, it's going to be about 45 minutes, and I thought, maybe that's too long. Let's cut it into two halves. But of course, I haven't filmed an intro for what you're about to see now. So, this is me filming the intro. Intro, hello. But in a way... Um, I'm kind of glad because it gives me a chance to say once again thank you to everybody for your beautiful, kind, loving thoughts. And you can see I'm, I don't know, you, there's more that way. I'm surrounded, I'm surrounded by your lovely cards and notes. Um, so, in a way, I'm glad to be able to do the intro from home to be able to say, you know, thank you for your, all your lovely cards, your lovely thoughts. It's been brilliant. But anyway, um, yes, time to get back to the garden. And we may see it in the next video. I've just had a lovely and um, chatty call from our Gary. I thought I'd see him in the garden today. I didn't. We've kind of not coincided. He's stuck at home waiting for the car to come back from the MOT. Um, we've been trying to coordinate for ages. I have seen him in the last couple of weeks. And big hugs, lovely. But he's got some spare seedlings for me. So he was just ringing today now to find out what time I might be down tomorrow. Can we possibly coordinate? Hopefully we can, but if we can't, he's described in his garden where the spares are and they will be He's got some spare Cavolo Nero. And what's great about the Cavolos is because they're such a tall, upright brassica, they don't take up nearly as much room as, say, the sort of cabbages and collies and all those. So I'm thinking, I know exactly where they're going to go. You know the calendula bed that's not my saved seed calendula, but the shop bought packets where there was really poor germination. I'm going to fill it with cavallos. Well, not fill it, because there are some calendula in that bed. As we saw in the last video, they've opened. But I'm going to plug gaps with cavallos. I'll have them there. They may go in other parts of the garden. I don't know. So that I'm really looking forward to. Something I didn't do today, but I will do with the next visit is, and you'll see why, I'll show you why, um, some harvesting ah so what i should say is we're about to go into the garden don't worry we're about to go into the garden to do some harvesting just from one plant but then tomorrow a whole lot in the rest of the garden and we're getting to that time of year now where i can actually make a meal 
from what's coming from the garden. Also, Gary just now was saying how he's got masses of spring onions. I didn't plant any onions this year, so I will harvest um, a few of his spring onions tomorrow um, just to give me that onion taste. And of course, it's the time of year for salads, so yeah, spring onions in a salad, gorgeous. But yes, so, so what's following now is me harvesting and chatting <clears throat> and I can't remember what I just said at the top of the video. My brain isn't still quite functioning properly, but um, yes, this was a bottle of wine from Allotment Friends uh, for my birthday, but obviously we haven't seen each other since my birthday, so I got it today and I'm enjoying it today. Um, yes, this what, what follows now is me reflecting on why, why I've loved the garden so much this year and why it's actually working really well for me this year in terms of me being able to manage it in terms of the time it takes up so if we go back a whole year and I was saying that's it I'm gonna have to give up the garden I cannot manage it anymore and you know if I leave this area I still will give up the garden however I've done quite a few things quite differently this year which has meant that the garden has been doable and more than that really enjoyable so the reason I'm talking about it today we're going to get to it I promise is because honestly I hope I hope it will be hopeful for some of you out there some of you who may be thinking you can't manage anymore you're going to give up your space perhaps perhaps there are a few little tweaks that I've done this year that you could copy or try something similar and that will maybe enable you to not only keep your garden but to enjoy it again. Because last year it nearly killed me and I wasn't enjoying it. This year I am loving it. Right, that's enough of me chatting. Q VT filmed about four hours ago this afternoon in the garden and if nothing else what I hope is that it's just a nice, peaceful, quiet, calm, happy video. And relax. I'm going to see if I can multitask, <laughs> as in, I'm going to see about starting to harvest some blueberries whilst chatting. Oh my goodness. I, I mentioned that I I have been back briefly in this three week period that day when I just came to sit outside the shed and it was a really beautiful day. The most beautiful day we'd had in ages um, because we, our weather has gone a bit weird. It has gone a little bit cooler, really, really overcast most days. Anyway, this particular day, hot, full sunshine, gorgeous and I saw that the blueberries were ready some of them were ready for picking so that morning well it was late morning almost noon i grabbed a handful to take with me to nosh outside the shed and oh my god it's gorgeous because they were warm from the sun the flavor was so intense oh so sweet and intense and you know what so much better than anything i've bought recently from supermarkets and what have you gorgeous anyway yes yeah, so oh don't drop any i did remember today to bring my tupperware so yeah in in the video which one was it a couple of days ago not the not the pea risotto one the one before that i started to say that i've been really loving the garden this year and I was about to wax lyrical about it and I said no, I'll save it till I'm in the garden and talk about it there because I think it's worth sharing and the whys and wherefores might, you know, might be useful to someone else. But yeah, I've, I've had this growing feeling this year that I love the garden this year more than I've ever loved it. <laughs> It, I just, I've, I've been getting so, so much happiness and joy from it. Um, 
now look obviously <clears throat> part of that i'm sure is the fact that it has been it has been something of an escape place for me something of a sort of a refuge a solace what have you but i think there's some really simple things which have made it so so different for me this year in terms of oh my god these are massive sorry can you see these are massive look at the size of that mm. Mm. Are these going to make it home? <laughs> Probably not. Oh. <laughs> yes. So, oh, I'm dropping him. Don't drop him. This is why. This is why I always think that multitasking isn't necessarily the best idea for me. So I started to think about why. Why has this year been so much better? Now, some folk may say, "Oh, don't overthink it. Just enjoy it, Vivi." Well, it's, it's useless saying that to me because I am a thinker. I'm a thinker, I'm a reflector, but also I want to kind of nail it because if I understand why it's so good, then hopefully I can replicate that or try to replicate it in future years, whether it's this garden or a different garden, you know, a garden outside my back door. Undoubtedly, it's, it is in part because I've done the garden differently this year. The main differences are the fact that I'm growing far, few, far fewer varieties of vegetables this year. So it's, it's, been, it's been, I can't speak, much simplified in terms of the variety. So in a way, it's kind of, that's easy because it's just less to think about. Um, and in terms of timings, it's only a handful of different, uh, different variety, different vegetables. So, the, all the sowing dates, all those different sowing dates you get with, you know, celery, celery and peppers starting off in February and then coming right through to all sorts of other things in June. It's just massively, hello lovely, <laughs> that's so cute. Um, I've got two cucumbers, I haven't even looked at mine yet. Well, I think what we'll do is I'll have a, um, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself after this. I'm going to do some work. Uh, I, I'm going to do some tomato cares, but then I think we'll come back tomorrow and I'll, I'll give you a little tour of the garden because you haven't seen it. Well, it's kind of a month, isn't it, since I did that mid-June tour. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I, I've completely lost my train of thought now, but... Um, yeah, oh yeah, fewer fewer varieties. It just meant less organising, less carrying things around in my head. And it took the pressure off getting beds ready so soon. I'd purposely picked, I purposely chose to do a lot of things like the courgettes, cutes and squash. It meant way less digging. I've had to do a bit of bed prep for them in, in that... <clears throat> If the plant is like sort of that big, I'm putting it into the ground. I've dug a hole about that big, dug it to loosen it up a bit so when that plant goes in, the roots can get out. But yeah, the, this reduction in varieties has meant a reduction in, in just keeping things organized up here, having a clearer head, but also the reduction in digging. Obviously I didn't plant potatoes this year, that, that took out a week's worth of digging to get all the bed, uh, you know, four rows of potatoes in. There's a lot of effort, I find. Didn't do any onions, so that's another two beds I didn't have to prep. So because of all of that, it, it's also, um, oh sorry, I'm supposed to be picking, aren't I? It's also meant that in the end, I, I didn't do any gardening in March and April. Now. I kind of missed that and if I hadn't been doing the kitchen and other things I probably would have started in the garden sooner but what it's shown me is doing it this way I I mean I, I pretty much got the whole garden ready so it's between the start of May and the middle of June so in about six weeks this whole garden was done seeded planted dug 
raked, tilth, whatever it was. It's done, done in six weeks. I've never had that because like I said, normally it starts in February and it goes on and on and on. So yeah, reducing the, the amount of different varieties, but also reduce, not doing certain things. So, so not doing the spuds and onions, that, that meant I didn't have to be here in March and April bed prepping. But also I haven't done, you know, celery, peppers, because they would have had to have been started at home and then they get pricked out. And also, I know it sounds silly, but it takes a bit of effort. All the watering of the things at home, all those little seeds that I start at home, pop them on and, oh, now they need a stick and it just goes on and on. And last year, in previous years, it takes me coming down here every single day through May with two bags of seedlings. It takes a whole month to get all the seedlings down from home. Of course, this year, because I'm walking with a stick now all the time, I'd only be able to carry one bag at a time. It'll take me two, two months to get all those indoor seedlings here. I didn't have that this year. I started the tomatoes at home, thank goodness. But that's the only thing I started from home and it took, I think it was four trips. But that was okay because I was coming to the garden to do things anyway. But that was a ma that's a massive bit of work. Um, I've saved myself and everything that is planted. So we think about all the um, the squash, the courgettes, the the cucumbers, all of the you know the beetroot, the salad things, the fennel, all of them were sown over the course of two days very comfortably sitting outside of the shed with my module trays it was such a quiet easy lovely job bring the modules to the cold frame let them grow on pop them into the garden jobs are good in so none of that backwards and forwards from home um, none of the sort of carrying compost to the flat and up all the stairs you know, a couple of bags of compost were bought and they came straight to the garden. I'm just looking at my notes because, like I said, I hope this might help any of you who are thinking you can't cope with the garden anymore. You're thinking about giving it up. Maybe you've fallen out of love with it because it feels like too much work. Um, yes, so let's see. Less plants, less varieties. I concentrated very much on what can I sow in the cold frame at the beginning of May in terms of the plan when I was planning it in January and February what can I sow in the cold frame so I don't have anything at home indoors what sort of things can I plant as plugs in the ground rather than so I only have to make a little hole rather than digging up a whole bed to get a tilth to sow of course I did do that with a couple of beds but far less than I've done in previous years what can you grow as a module plant in other words grow your own little plug plant pop it in rather than having to dig and prep a whole bed um yeah so i basically had the whole of march and april off the garden yay which like i said in next year i mean i don't know what's happening in my life at the moment but it, it let's let's say i didn't move let's say i didn't leave the garden i don't know what's happening but if i was doing it all again next year if I was really pushed to doing other things in March and April, like the flat, the kitchen or whatever, I think that's fine. I can do that indoor stuff. The garden can wait till May. But if I didn't have the indoor stuff to do, I would start in April, maybe even March, purely because I like it down here. Um, da -da -da. The, it, it was a massively reduced spend this year. Didn't buy new seeds apart from those three packets. The total spend for the garden, I think, was something like £18. So that ha there's a psychology in that as well, that it's, it sort of takes the pressure off me. My attitude, and this is, I think this is the big, big thing this year, and it's so often true in life, isn't it? It's about your mindset. It's about changing your mindset. My attitude this year was, you know, I'm not really spending any money, so I'm not losing anything. I'm not going to kill myself to do it. If I get some veggies, great. If I don't, well, as long as I keep it tidy to hand over to the next person. And of course, I'm going to get veggies anyway. But it was, a, it, it was this big shift of almost sort of giving myself permission to take my foot off the gas 
giving my posi myself permission to just go so much slower about things than I ever have before. That's partly an acknowledgement and an acceptance of that there are, I have, my limitations are increasing slightly. Let's not dwell on that too much. But yeah, to just sort of be honest with myself and say, you are never going to do the garden like you used to do it. You physically can't. What garden can you do? And you know what? If it don't work, don't sweat it. Um, so yeah, it, it's definitely this year been about having a garden to enjoy everything that's not the veg in other words the people the community and we've seen that demonstrated so perfectly i don't want to start crying again today the community that has sorted out my tomatoes for me in my absence the community that hands me a couple of cucumbers you know um so everything other than the garden the community the wildlife i'm sitting here now right next to the lavender it is it's it's just a sea of bees. I don't think it, the camera will pick up the sound, but it's a sea of bees. Moments of, you know, to see the stag beetle, to see all the jays, that little jay feather. At the beginning of this season, I said to myself, focus on enjoying all of those things and don't worry your pretty little head about the veg. And I'm gonna get veg. What else did I say? Um, yeah, I took the pressure off myself. Um, it's all about having the garden to enjoy it, to just enjoy being outside, commuting wildlife. Um, also, and I think this made a difference in, in June as well, because I haven't been filming down here, um, there's been no pressure on, I haven't put pressure on myself to produce videos. And also, frankly, <laughs> That's meant I've not had to face the judgment. I don't want to go on about trolls because they're not worth my time, but you know, putting out videos of the garden, there's a lot of judgment. People telling me what I've done wrong and why I'm a failure or whatever it is. So to take that pressure off myself as well of knowing that whatever I do, no one's gonna judge it and tell me anything different. It's been mine this year, all mine. <laughs> Yeah, it has been an utter joy this year, total, total joy, peaceful, happy, I'm, I'm suddenly inarticulate, I wish I could describe the feeling I have. I suppose one way to put it is the garden has just made me feel so at peace this year and God knows I've needed it this year more than ever but that's that's the sense from the garden this year is peace, joy, tranquility, calm. I mean you'd pay for that wouldn't you? You'd pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds to get that feeling. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the way I've done the garden this year and the way it's made me feel, I feel like this is for me an achievable way of doing the garden and it's therefore, it's a sustainable way for me to, to do the garden. Massively reduce the amount of different types of veggies I do reduce the amount of veggies which require much by way of bed prep reduce that whole palaver of starting hundreds of plants at my home my, at my cottage in the sky compost going up the stairs plants coming down by doing all those little things here i am sitting in a garden which is productive it's highly productive i'm looking out and thinking Crikey, I've already got marrows instead of courgettes in the three weeks I've been away. It's productive, but more than that, it's my special, special, so special place. I love it. I hope some of you get some of that through the camera too. Anyway, for now, I've stopped picking. <laughs> I've got loads, loads. I think this pot, I'm going to fill this pot on this plant. 
I'm gonna leave the, the other plant for today and bring another pot back tomorrow. Um, but yeah, mm. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I think that's enough yapping for today and I'm really glad for today. I'm glad to get back on the horse, as it were, get back on the horse of, um, <laughs> stuck in my tooth, get back on the horse of making YouTube videos. Thank you so much, all of you, for hanging out with me today. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a wordy one. Next time, we'll actually, um, we'll get down to doing some work here, eh? So, <laughs> blue breeze, sorry. Until the next one, please look after yourselves. Look after each other. Look after each other's gardens as well, because, wow, wow, that has... That's made my heart sing today. That's so lovely. Until the next one, cheerio.